You save the day again, Woody. How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you the good life. But in spite of all of that I've tried, a handful of our people with their lives have made our life impossible. There's no way to detach ourselves from what's happened today. Not only we're in a compound situation, not only are there those who have left and committed the betrayal of the century, some have stolen children from others and they're in pursuit right now to kill them because they stole their children. And we, we are sitting here waiting on a powder keg. I don't think this is what we want to do with our babies. I don't think that's what we had in mind to do with our babies. It was said by the greatest of prophets from time immemorial, no man lay, takes my life from me, I lay my life down. So. To, to sit here and wait for the catastrophe that's going to happen on that airplane, it's going to be a catastrophe. It almost happened here. Almost happened. The congressman was nearly killed here. But you can't steal people's children. You can't take off with people's children without expecting a violent reaction. And that's not so unfamiliar to us either. If we, even if we were Judeo-Christian, if we weren't communists, the world, the kingdom, suffers violence, and the violence shall take it by force. If we can't live in peace, then let us die in peace. <laughs> We've been so betrayed. We have been so terribly betrayed. But we tried, and as Jack Beam often said, I don't know where he's at right this moment. Where's Jack? He said, if this only worked one day, it was worthwhile. Yeah. What's going to happen here in a matter of a few minutes is that one of those people on that plane is going to, going to shoot the pilot. I know that. I didn't plan it, but I know it's going to happen. They're going to shoot that pilot, and down comes that plane into the jungle. And we had better not have any of our children left when it's over because they'll parachute in here on us. I'm telling you just as plain as I know how to tell you, I've never lied to you. I never have lied to you. I know that's what's going to happen. That's what he intends to do. And he will do it. He'll do it. Fortunately, being so bewildered with many, many pressures on my brain, seeing all these people behave so treasonous, it was just too much for me to put together. But. Uh, uh, I now know what he was telling me, and it'll happen, if the plane gets in the air even. So my opinion is that we be kind to children and be kind to seniors and take the portion like they used to take in ancient Greece and step over quietly because we are not committing suicide. It's a revolutionary act. We can't go back. They won't leave us alone. They're now going back to tell more lies, which means more congressmen, and there's no way, no way we can survive. Hmm? Anybody wish to? Anyone that has any dissenting opinion, please speak. Yes. You can have an opportunity, but if our children are left, we are going to have them butchered. We can make a strike, but we'll be striking against people that we, we don't want to strike against. We want, we'd like to get the people who cause this stuff. And some, if some people here are, are prepared to know how to do that, to go in town and get Timothy Stone, but there's no plane. There's no plane. You can't catch a plane in time. He's responsible for it. He brought these people to us. He and Deanna Myrtle. But people in San Francisco will not not be idle over this. 
<laughs> and not take our death in vain, you know. Yes, you see. Is it too late for Russia? Here's why it's too late for Russia. They killed. They started to kill. That's why it makes it too late for Russia. Otherwise, I'd said, Russia, you bet your life. But it's too late. I can't control these people. They're out there. They've gone with their guns, and it's too late. And once we kill anybody, at least that's the way I've always, I've always put my lot with you. If one of my people do something, it's me. Now they say, I don't, I don't have to take the blame for this, but I, I, don't, I don't live that way. They say, deliver up Ujara, who tried to get the man back here. Ujara, whose wife, mother has been lying on him and lying on him and trying to break up this family, and they've all agreed to kill us by any means necessary. You think I'm going to deliver them, Ujara? Not on your life. No. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I can't live that way. I cannot live that way. I've lived with for all and I'll die for all. I've been living on hope for a long time, Christine, and I appreciate you. You've always been a very good agitator. I like agitation because you got to see two sides of one issue, two sides of a question. What those people are going to get done, what they get through, will make our life worse than hell. Will make us make the Russians not accept us when they get through lying. They told so many lies between there and that truck that we are we are done in as far as any other alternative. Well, I said let's make an air lift to Russia. That's what I say. I don't think nothing is impossible. Well, how are we going to believe it? How are you going to airlift to Russia? Well, I thought he, they said if we got in an emergency, they gave you a code to let them know. No, they did. They gave us the code that they'd let us know of an issue, not us create an issue for them. They said if, we, if they saw the country coming down, they'd create, they'd give us the code. They'd give us the code. You can check on there and see if it's on the code. You can check with Russia to see if they'll take us in immediately, otherwise we die. I don't know what else you say to these people. But to me, death is not, and death is not a fearful thing. It's living this treachery. I have never, 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 never seen anything like this before in my life. I've never seen people take the law uh, and do uh, in their own hands and provoke us and try to purposely agitate murder of children. It, you know, you, Christine, it's just not, it's not worth living like this. Not worth living like this. I think that there were too few who left for 1,200 people to give them their lives for those people that left. You know how many left? Mm, 20 odd. That's, that's a small... 20 odd. Com 20 com odd. Compared to what year? 20 odd. But what's going to happen when they don't leave? I hope that they could leave, but what's going to happen when they, do when they don't leave? You mean the people here? Yeah, what's going to happen to us when they don't leave, when they get on the plane and the plane goes down? I don't think it'll go down. You don't think it'll go down? I, I wish I could tell you you were right, but I'm right. There's one man there who blames, and rightfully so, Debbie Blakey for the murder, for the murder of his mother, and he'll, sh he'll stop that pilot by any means necessary. He'll do it. That plane will come out of the air. There's no way you fly a plane without a pilot. I wasn't speaking about that plane. I was speaking about the plane for us to go to Russia. How do... <laughs> to Russia. Do you think Russia's going to want... Uh, no, not going to... Hit, 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 hit. We're not, uh, you think Russia's going to want us with all this stigma? We had, we, we had some value, but now we don't have any value. Well, I don't see it like that. I mean, I feel like that as long as there's life, there's hope. That's my faith. Well, some, everybody dies. <laughs> Someplace that hope runs out because everybody dies. I haven't seen anybody yet didn't die. And I like to choose my own kind of death for a change. I'm tired of being tormented to hell. That's what I'm tired of. Tired of it. 1,200 people's lives in my hands, and I certainly don't want your life in my hand. But I'm going to tell you, Christine, without me, life has no meaning. 
up. I'm the best friend you'll ever have. Once, once I have to pay, I'm standing with you, Jara. I'm standing with those people. They're part of me. I can detach myself. My journey says detach myself. No, 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 no. I never detached myself from any of your troubles. I've always taken your troubles right on my shoulders. And I'm not going to change that now. It's too late. I've been running too long. I'm not going to change now. Maybe the next time you get to go to Russia, the next time around. This is what I'm talking about the now is in the dispensation of judgment. This is a revolutionary this is a revolutionary suicide council. I'm not talking about self self destruction. I'm talking about what we have no other road. I will take your, your call, we will put it to the Russians, and I can tell you the answer now because I'm a prophet. Call the Russians and tell them to see if they'll take us. I said I'm afraid to die. I don't think no you means. are. I don't think you are. But uh, I look at our babies and I think they deserve I, to live. I agree. You know? They des but also they deserve, what's more, they deserve peace. <laughs> we all came here for peace. And know? we've have we had it? No. I tried to give it to you. I've laid down my life practically. I've practically died every day to give you peace. And you still not had any peace. You look better than I've seen you in a long while. But it's still not the kind of peace that I wanted to give you. So, a person's a fool that continues to say that you're a winner when you're losing. Win one, lose two. What? I didn't hear you, ma'am. You have to speak up. That's a sweet thought. Who said that? Come on up and speak it again, honey. Say, come up and say it about to talk about. It's taking off. No plane is taking off. It's suicide. They have done it. Stone has done it. But somebody ought to listen. Somebody. Can they talk? Can they not talk to San Francisco? See, the stone does not get by with this infamy. This is infamy. He has done the thing he wanted to do. To have us destroyed. When you, when you, when we destroy ourselves, we're defeated. We no, let them, the enemy, defeat us. Did you see, did you see I live to fight no more forever? Yes, I saw that. Did you not have some sense of pride and victory in that man? He would not subject himself to the will and whim of people who tell that they're going to come in whenever they please and push into our house, come when they please, take who they want to, talk to who they want to. Is this that living? That's not living to me. That's not freedom. That's not the kind of freedom I sought. But I think where they made their mistake is when they stopped to rest. If they had gone on, they would have made it. But they stopped to rest. It's over, sister. It's over. We've made that day. We made a beautiful day. And let's make it a beautiful day. That's what I mean. We win. We win when we go down. Tim Stone has nobody else to hate. He has nobody else to hate. Then he'll destroy himself. I'm speaking here not as uh, the administrator. I'm speaking as a prophet today. I wouldn't step in this seat and talk so serious if I didn't know what I was talking about. If there's any way to call back, the immense amount of damage is going to be done. But I cannot separate myself from the pain of my people. And you can't either, Christine, if you stop to think about it. You can't separate yourself. We've walked too long together. I, I know that, but I still think as an individual, I have a right to... You do, and I'm listening. ...what I think, what I feel, and I think we all have a right to our own destiny as individuals. Right. And I think I right. have a right to choose mine, and everybody else has a right to choose theirs. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm not criticizing. I'm not doing that. What's that? Today. That's what 20 people said today with their lives. I think I still have a right to my own opinion. I, I'm not taking it from you. I'm not taking it from you. Christine, 
you're only standing here because he was here in the first place. So I don't know what you're talking about, having an individual life. Your life has been extended to the day that you're standing there because of him. Oh, it's back there. She has much right to speak to anybody else, too. What'd you say, Luby? Well, you regret that this very day if you don't die. You'll regret it if you don't die. You don't die. You'll regret it. Too many people. I saved them. I saved them, but I made my example. I made my expression. I made my manifestation, and the world was ready, not ready for me. Paul said, I was a man born out of due season. I've been born out of due season just like all we are, and the best testimony we can make is to leave this goddamn world. Please, please. I'm not talking to her. Will you, met, will, you, will you let her let me talk? You're talking. Would you make her sit down and let me talk while I'm on the floor? Or let her talk? Property you tell the leader what to do. It really isn't. I've, I've listened to you. You asked me about Russia. I'm right now making a call to Russia. What more do you suggest? I'm listening to you. If Russia gives me one slight bit of encouragement, I just now instructed them to go there and do that. And you would be no fucking good in Russia, goddammit! All right, now everybody hold it. We didn't come. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Much longer to maintain. To lay down your burdens. I'm going to lay down my burdens down by the riverside. So we lay them down here in the side of Guyana. What's the difference? No man didn't take our life right now. He hadn't taken it. But when they start parachuting out of the air, they'll, they'll shoot some of our innocent babies. I'm not going to, I don't want to see this, Christy. Because they got to shoot me to get through to some of these people. I'm not letting them take your jar. Can you let them take your jar? What's that? You mean you want to see John, the little one, the king? I want to see... <laughs> I, I, peace, 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 Are you peace. saying that you think he thinks more of them than other children here? John, That's John. That's what you're saying. But you're acting. Do you think I'd put John's life above others? If I put John's life above others, I wouldn't be standing with his jaw. I send John out, out, he could go out on the driveway tonight. Because he's young, they're young. I know, but he's no, he's no different to me than any of these children here. He's just one of my children. I don't prefer one above another. I don't prefer him above you, Jara. I can't do that. I can't separate myself from your actions or his actions. If you'd done something wrong, I'd stand with you. If they wanted to come and get you, they'd have to take me. All ready to go. If you tell us we have to give our lives now, we're ready. I'm pretty sure all the rest of the sisters and brothers are with me. Oh, months I've tried to keep this thing from happening, but I now see it's the will, it's the will of sovereign being that this happened to us. That we lay down our lives in protest against what's being done. That we lay down our lives to protest in what's being done. The criminality of people, the cruelty of people. Who walked out of here today? Did you notice who walked out? Mostly white people. Mostly white people walked. I'm so grateful for the ones that didn't, those who knew who they are. But there's no, there's, there's no point, there's no point to this. We, ha we are born before our time. They won't accept us. And I don't think we should sit here and take any more time for our children to be endangered because they come after our children and we give them our children, then our children will suffer forever. I have no quarrel with you coming up. I like you. I personally like you very much. These people get hostile when you try to... Oh, well, uh, some people do. But that, you don't, you, you, just some people do. Put it that way. I'm not hostile. You had to be honest and you stayed. And if you wanted to run, you'd have run with them because anybody could have run today. They would have wanted to. I know you're not a runner. And I, 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 your life's precious to me. It's as precious as John's. And I, I don't, what I do, I do with weight 
and justice and judgment. I'm, I've waited against all evidence. Okay, that's all what I comes to say. now, folks? What comes now? Everybody hold it. Stay, stay, stay peace. Stay peace. Stay peace. Stay peace. Stay peace. What's come? Don't let this. Take Dwyer on down to the, the east house. Take Dwyer. Everybody be quiet, down. please. You've got some respect for our lives. That means sit down, sit down, sit down. I know. Hmm. I tried so very, very hard. We're trying over here to see what can be, what can happen in Los Angeles. Who is it? Get Dwyer out of here before something happens to him. Dwyer? I'm not talking about you, Jara. I said Dwyer. Ain't nobody gonna take you, Jara. I'm not letting them take you, Jara. Gather in, folks. It's easy. It's easy. Yes, my love. At one time, I felt just like Christine felt. But after today, I don't feel anything because the biggest majority of the people that left here were white. And I know it really hurt my heart. Because broke your heart, didn't it? broke my heart to think that all of these years that these white people have been with us and they're not a part of us. So we might as well end it now because I don't see... Talking. The congressman has been murdered. Stand. It's all over, all over. What a legacy, what a legacy. But the Red Brigade's the only ones ever made any sense anyway. They invaded our privacy, they came into our home, they followed us 6,000 miles away. The Red Brigade showed them justice, the congressman's dead. Please get us the medication. It's simple. It's simple. There's no convulsions with it. It's just simple. Just please get it. Before it's too late, the GDF will be here. I tell you, get moving. Get moving. Get moving. Yeah. Don't be afraid to die. You feel free. If these people land out here, they'll, they'll torture some of our children here. They'll torture our people. They'll torture our seniors. We cannot have this. Are you going to separate yourself from whoever shot the congressman? I don't know who shot him. Speaker Pete and those had a right to go and they had a right to, how many are dead? Oh, God almighty, God almighty. Hmm? Patty Parks is dead. She managed to endure long enough in a safe place to write about the goodness of Jim Jones. I don't know how in the world they're ever going to write about us. It's just too late. It's too late. The congressman's dead. The congressman today's dead. Many of our traitors are dead. They're all laying out there dead. Hmm? I didn't, but, but my people did. My people did. They're my people. And, and they've been provoked too much. They've been provoked too much. What's happened here has been too, but this has been an act of provocation. Yes. If it's any way possible to uh, have them to give Ted something to take him, I'm satisfied, okay? What's that? I said, if it's any way you can do to have them to give Ted something so he won't have to let him go to, okay? And I'm yes. satisfied. That's fine. Ted, yes, yes, yes. 
appreciate you for everything. You're you're the only, you are the only. You are the only, and I appreciate you. Okay. Please, please, can we hasten? Can we hasten with that medication? You don't know what you've done. I tried. Move, please move. What's it coming with two GDF? They saw it happen and ran in the bush and dropped the machine guns. I never in my life. But there'll be more. You got to move. Are you going to get that medication here? You got to move. Marshall, there's about 40 minutes. You have to move, and the people that are standing there in the aisle go stay in the radio room yard. But everybody get behind the table and back this way, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Everybody keep calm and try and keep your children calm. And the older children can help love the little children and, and reassure them. They aren't crying from pain. It's just a little bitter tasting, but they're, they're not crying out of any pain. Annie McGowan, can I please see you back? I used to do before I came here. So let me tell you about it. It might make a lot of you feel a little more comfortable. Sit down and be quiet, please. One of the things that I used to do, I used to be a therapist. And the kind of therapy that I did had to do with reincarnation and past life situations. And every time anybody had the experience of, of going into a past life, I was fortunate enough through father to be able to let them experience it all the way through their death, so to speak. And everybody was so happy when they made that step to the other side. When you step, there's no other thing you can do but step that way. It's the only way to step. <laughs> that choice is not ours now. It's out of our hands. If you have a body that's been crippled suddenly, you have the kind of body that you want to have. A little rest. It feels good. Calm You've never children. felt so good, family, I tell you. You've never felt so good is how that feels. And I do hope that those attorneys will stay where they belong and don't come up here. What is it? What is it? Get what? It's hard. It's hard. It's only at first. Only at first is it hard. It's hard only at first. Living, you're looking at death. It's only look. To, living is much, much more difficult. Raising up every morning and not knowing what's going to be the night's bringing. It's much more difficult. It's much more difficult. I just want to uh, say something to everyone that I see that is standing around and uh, crying. This is nothing to cry about. This is something we should all rejoice about. We should be happy about this. They always told us that we should cry when you're coming into this world. Well, when we're living and we're living it peaceful, I think we should, be, we should be happy about this. I was just thinking about Jim Jones. He just has suffered and suffered and suffered. We, he is the only God, and he never even had a chance to enjoy his death here. And I want to say one more thing. This is one thing I want to say. That few that's gone, it's many more here. He still, well he, that's not all of us. That's not all yet. That's just a few that has got a chance to get to the one that w they could tell their story to, their lives to. So I, I'm looking at so many people crying. I wish you would not cry and just thank Father. Just thank Him. I, I've been here about...
not in San Francisco, but until I came to Jonestown. I've enjoyed this life. I've had a beautiful life. And I don't see nothing for us to be crying about. We should be happy. At least I am. Let's say a little thing. wouldn't be alive today. I'd just like to thank Dad because he was the only one that stood up for me when I needed him. And thank you, Dad. I'm, I'm glad you're my brothers and sisters. I'm glad to be here. Okay. Please, for God's sakes, let's get on with it. We've lived, we've lived as no other people have lived and loved. We've had as much of this world as you're going to get. Let's just be done with it. Let's be done with the agony of it. It's far, far harder to have to watch you every day die slowly. And from the time you're a child to the time you get gray, you're dying. It's honest, and I'm sure that they'll, they'll pay for it. They'll, they'll pay for it. This is a revolutionary suicide. This is not a self-destructive suicide. So they'll pay for this. They brought this upon us. And they'll pay for that. I leave that destiny to them. wants to go with their child has a right to go with their child. I think it's humane. I want to go, I want to see you go though. I, they can take me and do with me whatever they want to do. I want to see you go. I don't want to see you go through this hell no more. No more, no more, no more. When we're trying, if everybody will relax, the best thing you do to relax then you have no problem. You'll have no problem with the thing if you just relax. The children here a great deal because of Jim Jones. And the way the children are laying there now, I'd rather see them lay like that than to see them have to die like the Jews did, which was pitiful anyhow. And I'd just like to thank Dad for giving us life and also death. And I appreciate the fact the way our children are going. Because like Dad said, when they come in, what they're gonna do to our children, they're gonna massacre our children. And also the ones that they take captured, they're gonna just let them grow up and be dummies like they want them to be. And not grow up to be a thirsters like the one and only Jim Jones. So I'd like, I'd like to thank Dad for our opportunity for letting Jonestown be not what it could be, but what Jonestown is. Thank you, Dad. It's not to be feared. It is not to be feared. It's a friend. It's a friend. You're sitting there. Show your love for one another. Calm, let's get calm, let's get calm. To us, we had nothing we could do. We can't, we can't separate ourselves from our own people. For 20 years laying in some old rotten nursing home. Taking us through all these anguish years. They took us and put us in chains, and that's nothing. This, this is that's, that. There's no comparison to that to this. They robbed us of our land, and they've taken us and driven us. And we tried to find ourselves. We tried to find a new beginning, but it's too late. You can't separate yourself from your brother and your sister. No way I'm going to do it. I, I refuse. I don't know who fired the shot. I don't know who killed the congressman. But as far as I'm concerned, I killed him. You understand what I'm saying? I killed him. He had no business coming. I told him not to come.
die with respect, die with a degree of dignity. Lay down your life with dignity. Don't lay down with tears and agony. It's nothing to death. It's like Max said, it's just stepping over into another plane. Don't, don't be this way. Stop this hysterics. This is not the way for people who are socialist or communist to die. No way for us to die. We must die with some dignity. Soon we'll have no choice. Now we have some choice. You think they're going to tell, allow this to be done and allow us to get by with this? It must be insane. The children, it's just something to put you to rest. Oh, God. Mother, 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 please. Mother, please, 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 don't, don't do this, don't do this. Get down your life with your child, but don't do this. Free at last. Peace. Keep your emotions down, keep your emotions down. Children, it will not hurt if you'll be if you'll be quiet. If you'll be quiet. It's never been done before, you say. It's been done by every tribe in history, every tribe facing annihilation. All the Indians of the Amazon are doing it right now. They refuse to bring any babies into the world. They kill every child that comes into the world because they don't want to live in this kind of a world. So be patient, be patient. Death is, I tell you, I don't care how many screams you hear, I don't care how many anguished cries, death is a million times preferable to 10 more days of this life. If you knew what was ahead of you, if you knew what was ahead of you, you'd be glad to be stepping over tonight. Death, death, death is common to people. In the Eskimos, they take death in their stride. Let's be dignified. Let's be dignified. If you quit, tell them they're dying. You, if you adults would stop some of this nonsense, adults, 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 I call on you to stop this nonsense. I call on you to quit exciting your children when all they're doing is going to quiet rest. I call on you to stop this now, if you have any respect at all. Are we black, proud, and socialist, or what are we? Now stop this nonsense. Don't carry this on anymore. You're exciting your children. All over, and it's good. No, no sorrow that it's all over. I'm glad it's over. Hurry, hurry, my children, hurry. All I say, does not fall into the hands of the enemy. Hurry, my children. Hurry. The seniors out here that I'm concerned about, hurry. I don't want to leave my seniors to this mess. Quickly, 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 quickly. Sisters, good knowing you. No more pain, Al. No more pain, I said, Al. No more pain. Jim Cobb is laying on the airfield dead at this moment. Remember the, the, the uh, Oliver woman said she she come over and kill me if her sons wouldn't stop her. These, these, these are the people, the peddlers of hate. All we're doing is laying down our life. We're not letting them take our life. We're laying down our life. We're taking their lives. We just want peace. All I'd like to say is that my, um, my so-called parents are filled with so much hate. And treachery, I think you, you people out here should think about how your relatives was and be glad about that the children are being laid to rest. And all I'd like to say is I thank Dad for making me strong to stand with it all and make me ready for it. Thank you. I can do them all the children taking a drink to, take, to go to sleep. That's what death is, sleep. 
tired of it. I'm tired of it all. Loving thing he could have ever done. The most loving thing all of us could have done. And it's been a pleasure walking with all of you in this revolutionary struggle. No other way I would rather go and give my life for socialism, communism. And I thank Dad very, very much. That uh, Dad's love and mercy and goodness and kindness and bringing us to this land of freedom. His love, his mother was the advance, the advance guard to socialism. And his love and his mercy, mercy should go on forever, on to the field. Where's the vat, the vat, the vat? Where's the vat with the green sea? His love should go on forever, to the field. The and thank you, Dad. The vat with the green sea in, please. Bring it here so the adults can begin. Egg you, don't, don't. Fail to follow my advice, you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. That we do it and that they do it. Us trust you, you have to step across. We used to think this world, this world's not our home. Well, it sure isn't. As we were saying, it sure wasn't. He doesn't want to tell him. All he's doing, if they will tell him, assure these children. Can some people assure these children of the relaxation of stepping over to the next plane? We've what? set an example for others. We've set 1,000 people who say we don't like the way the world is. Stop. Take our life from us. We laid it down. We got tired. We didn't commit suicide, we committed an act of revolutionary suicide protesting the conditions of an inhumane world.